dear students this is kuldeep singh god from department of zoology government meera girls college and today i am going to teach you introduction of cell and this would be the part second today i am taking prokaryotic cell the prokaryotes are represented by bacteria cyanobacteria which you also call as blue green algae the mycoplasmas and the pleuro pneumonia like organisms which are also called as pplos uh, most of them uh, most of the people they consider mycoplasma and pplos as one and the same thing bacteria are of various shapes they are of uh, they are bacilli when they are of uh, rod shape when spherical they are called as cocci when of comma shape they are called as vibrio and when spiral shape they are called as spherula prokaryote words arose from pro, uh, pro means the earliest one and karyotes means uh, nucleus so then at this stage the nucleus couldn't get formed in the cell and that's why prokaryotes are a primitive kind of organisms they have wall present as uh, uh, above the plasma membrane and the exceptions are mycoplasmas because the mycoplasmas they don't have cell wall over them they can change their shapes and that's why many a times they are termed as biological jokers again uh, the prokaryotes as in eukaryotes have cytoplasm which is the uh, seat of activities intense activities like uh, metabolic reactions and all other uh, production uh, factories they run in cytoplasm like protein synthetic factory uh, glycolipid formation Uh, gly uh, glycoprotein formation etc goes uh, goes in cytoplasm nucleus is absent in prokaryotes as i have told you at the beginning of this lecture and the genome is naked that's why this absence of uh, nuclear membrane may make the genome prone to more mutations and that's why their genome is not that stable they have another thing in their uh, cytoplasm which is a small circular dna which is present in addition to the normal genome the function of these plasmids is they confer uh, antibiotic resistance to the um, uh, this is antibiotic resistance uh to the bacteria uh, because of presence of these an antibiotic resistance they could uh, resist the antibiotics if they are subjected to plasmids are also used to monitor the bacterial transformation with foreign dna if you just uh, uh, ligate the foreign dna you can monitor its expression then the most important thing of bacteria is their cell envelope it is a three layered protective uh, wall or unit around the cytoplasm the outermost is called as glycocalyx if this glycocalyx is of loose sheath kind it is called as slime layer but when it is thick and tough you refer it as capsule this is a slime layer now the middle one is cell wall cell wall confers the shape to the prokaryotic cell and it provides structural support and prevents the cell from bursting or collapsing 
the innermost which surrounds the cytoplasm is plasma membrane it is uh, differentially permeable or you also call it as uh, selectively permeable it is very very similar to eukaryotes on the basis of differences in the cell envelope they uh, are designated as gram positive and gram negative if they respond to stain prepared by gram then they are termed as gram positive uh, and if they don't then they are termed as gram negative another most important thing which occurs in the bacterial cell is mesosome it performs myriad of functions because the membrane bound organelles are entirely absent in the prokaryotes that's why most of the functions they are performed by plasma membrane and its uh, modifications the mesosomes are actually the extensions of plasma membrane into the cytoplasm it can be in form of vesicles like this it can be in forms of tubules like this or in it may be in form of lamellies these mesosomes they help formation of cell wall for the bacteria they help in dna replication and its distribution to daughter cells because uh, when i am going to take up this chapter in detail i'll let you know uh, that in detail uh, that the normal genome also remain attached to the plasma membrane that's why the mesosome which is the modification of plasma membrane helps replication of dna its distribution to the daughter cells the mesosome also helps in respiration it is cellular respiration because all the enzymes of electron transport chain they occur in mesosomes okay that's why the synthesis of the atps occur in mesosomes it all mesosomes also helps in secretion it increases the surface area of the plasma membrane for absorption also another important thing which occurs in uh, bacteria they are chromatophores mostly they are uh, uh, sorry not in bacteria they are found in blue green algae and chromatophores are also found in some bacteria they are membranous extension into the cytoplasm as i i have told you earlier and i am repeating it back they don't have any organelles which are membrane bound that's why chromatophores also which harbors the colors colorful compounds they are present in uh, membranous extension of uh, into the cytoplasm like for instance blue green algae contains some chromatophores and that's why they are of blue color flagella here protein flagellin makes up the flagella of prokaryotes they are thin and filamentous extension from their cell wall these are the roto locomotor organelles and confers the ability to move their number and arrangements uh, arrangement vary from bacteria to bacteria and they are composed of microtubule another thread like uh, structure which is present in bacteria uh, is pilin uh, pili this is uh, this is uh, flagella and pili are present 
at other ends the pili are hair like appendages on the surface of many bacteria and they are required for bacterial conjugation that means the genetic material from one bacteria is transferred to another through pilus okay then move to next one fimbri another small bristle like fibers these are present all over the surface of bacteria like this this is flagella and these are fimbries fimbri help uh, bacteria in anchoring to the uh, host or to the rocks that's uh, so that they do, don't get washed away one typical feature of bacteria is ribosome it is the only organelle which is present in uh, bacteria and this is membrane bound membrane less i'm sorry and it is always of 70 swedberg unit it is these uh, ribosomes they are associated with plasma membrane and they have two subunits one is smaller subunit smaller subunit another is larger subunit and the smaller uh, larger subunit smaller subunit is of uh, 30 swedberg unit and larger is of 50 swedberg unit and ribosomes as all of you know they are related to uh, protein synthesis when these ribosomes attach to mrna they form a structure called as polyribosomes or polysome that means the polysomes are mrna associated with ribosomes one more important thing that is inclusion bodies they are present in prokaryotes and they are also not membrane bound as membrane bound structures are lacking in prokaryotes they are meant for storing the reserve food material in prokaryotes they lie freely in the cytoplasm as phosphate granules as cyanophycian granules and as glycogen granules prokaryotes do have some gas vacuoles they are present in blue green alga they are found in purple bacteria and in green photosynthetic bacteria now just to show you how the uh, bacterial cell looks look here this is the flagellum it may be one two it may be uh, at one or both the ends and they arose from basal body which is present beneath the plasma membrane uh, and from basal body is the mother of cilia and uh, flagellum of bacteria after this you can see ribosomes are present these ribosomes are laid freely in the cytoplasm or they may be associated with the plasma uh, mRNA as I told you earlier and this is cytoplasm which is the matrix of all the uh, metabolic activities this is plasma membrane outermost is cell wall this blue colored cell wall and beneath the cell wall is plasma membrane and capsule is the outermost this is the capsule this is outer most okay cell wall is in the middle and plasma membrane is the innermost is the innermost membrane three membranes this uh, mm, three membranes are present uh, innermost is plasma membrane the middle one is cell wall and outermost is capsule capsule in uh, confers the antigenicity or disease causing capacity to the bacteria these are pili meant for 
कॉन्जुगेशन एंड दिस इज द न्यूक्लियोइड विच इज द मेन डी एन ए जीनोम ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया इट इज समटाइम्स अटैच टू द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन ऑल्सो एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एज आई टोल्ड यू इन द लेक्चर दैट दे हैव स्मॉल सर्क्यूलर डी एन एज कॉल्ड एज प्लाज्मिड्स present in the cytoplasm and these plasmids affords them the capacity to react to the antibiotic and offers resistance to them this is all for today in the next lecture i i shall continue with the introduction to cell and i'll teach you eukaryotic cell